Hi there. Now we're going to do the hamstrings. Now the hamstrings can be injured in many places. Right at the ischial tuberosity, where they have a common tendon, in the muscle bellies of all three muscles, and down near the knee, where the hamstrings get their name because those stringy things behind your knees, we have the tendons. So here we're going to be in a prone position, and we're going to first start with the ischial tuberosity attachment. So first you go at the bottom and you find the ischial tuberosity, and then if it's in the central part, you're going to be here. It could be slightly medial, and it could be slightly lateral. And in this position, uh, the tendon is, and the muscle is kind of relaxed. We're going to do a different position at the end, which is going to show you uh, uh, when the person is lying supine with the leg up. It's going to be maybe a little more effective, but this way often is effective as well. So you're going back and forth, frictioning across the attachment, the common attachment, and you're really pressing with a slight amount of force into the ischial tuberosity at the area where it's tender. Now if you back up just a little bit, you're right on the tendons. And it's still a common tendon for all three of the hamstrings. And as you go down, they branch. And if you're into the muscle, that the injury's in the muscle, you'll be here at the medial hamstring, the semimembranosus. And if it's in the center, it's going to be the semitendinosus. And if it's lateral, it'll be the biceps femoris. And that could be here, 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 here. Now, then it could be down below. Now, if the person bends their knee and pulls up a little bit, you see this tendency, like that tendon right here, another tendon right here. This is the tendinosus. Relax now. So you might have to do that to find the tendon, and you're going to flip over it. You're going to be frictioning right now. I'm right on the semitendinosus. Now I'm in the semimembranosus. And at the outside, again, you might have them lift and pull, and you're going to feel the lateral one. Relax now. And here I'm going to do the biceps femoris. So it could be injured in all those places. And you're going to friction. Let's say frequently it's in this section. You could use both hands and be frictioning a huge portion of the muscle. Now before you do this, you might want to check if there's a myofascial component. And if there is, you could work down or up, and you could use all four of your knuckles, and you're going to come down, and very slowly, gently, with some pull. Sometimes you might need a tiny bit of oil or cream if the person doesn't have enough moisture in their skin, and you're going to do a myofascial sweep, and if that hurts the person a little bit, then it means they need it. You could also go in the opposite direction. And you want to check in with the client, make sure it's not too uncomfortable. And if it's a little uncomfortable, it needs doing. If it's not uncomfortable at all, you can skip it. And I would do that first. Then I would do the friction therapy. Then I would do some massage of the thigh. So now we're going to reposition for a moment and we'll show you one more way to do the attachment. So in this position, the foot is on your shoulder and the knee is bent at a 90 degree angle and you're going to be right in the central part of the thigh. Make sure the person is comfortable with your doing this. You would have them draped, of course. I'm doing this differently so you can see everything. And I'm right in the center, and I'm going to go straight in to find the ischial tuberosity, which is right there. And then I'm going to friction sideways this way. Okay? And I might want to go a little lateral. I might want to go a little medial, depending on what's happening there. Okay? So be sure to go in very gently, slowly, find the right spot, and then friction it. In this position, the hamstring is a little more taut, and sometimes you get a better result when you're doing the work in this position. And you can also have your other hand there to support it uh, if it gets tired. And also you can just try it prone as we did before, and that may be all you need. But if you're having some trouble, you might try it this way. Okay, that's it for the hamstrings.